We all know someone who is using Bleu de Chanel, and believe it or not, it is still relevant to this day. Hi, my name is Cebu, and welcome back to my channel. Bleu de Chanel was created in 2010 by Jacques Polge, and the Eau de Parfum version was launched in 2014, and the Parfum Concentration was released in 2018. We can't deny that it is a super professional fragrance made by one of the biggest French perfumery houses, Chanel, that they produce some of their raw materials, which I think is one of the reasons their fragrances are expensive. Bleu de Chanel is elegant, sophisticated, yet great for casual wear also. You can wear the scent in a suit or in a jeans and t-shirt. I have with me the first one, the Eau de Toilette version, and this video is about 10 things you didn't know about Bleu de Chanel. Eau de Toilette. Bleu de Chanel Eau de Toilette. Number one, nothing smells like this perfume. There are no alternatives whatsoever. Many brands that have successful fragrances are copied by other niche or fast fashion brands in order to increase sales or to build a brand awareness for their fragrance lines. For example, Cool Water by Davidoff was so successful, other companies literally killed themselves in order to have something very similar to Cool Water. Or Invictus by Paco Rabanne was very popular among fast fashion brands that wanted something similar for men. The only fragrances that smell like this are the Eau de Parfum and Parfum. So, bravo Chanel! Number two, throughout the years, this fragrance has been reformulated, which is very normal in the fragrance industry. But the cool thing that this smells exactly the same. My father had a bottle in 2012, and I believe this was purchased a few years ago. It's still the same. Again, bravo Chanel. Number three, within the four main fragrance families, which are fresh, floral, woody, oriental, I will do a video about it soon. There are also subgroups, and one of them is called blue, which represents those ozonic and aquatic scents that reminds us of the ocean. Chanel was one of the first to introduce this line, and that's how the inspiration came for Bleu de Chanel. Bleu est un mot français, which means blue in English. So they were the first to make this line popular, and many brands followed them by creating those fresh, shower gel kind of vibe fragrances like YSL White, Dior Sauvage, Prada L'Homme, etc. Number four, safest choice. If you're going to buy a fragrance for yourself or you're going to get a present for someone, Bleu de Chanel is the safest. Most of the guys like fragrances with a citrus opening and a woody try down. This is very well known. If your friend or your partner are a young urban entrepreneur or just graduated from university and are ready for life, Bleu de Chanel is the perfect choice. Even on Father's Day, if you don't know what to get to your dad. Number five. <laughs> I forgot about number five. Jacques Polge. Oh, Jacques Polge. Who is Jacques Polge? He is a French perfumer, one of the most famous perfumers in the world, and was the in-house head perfumer for Chanel between the ages 1985 and 2015. We say perfumer in Arabic, al attar al attar Yes. So basically, this was one of his last creations, and what a better way to retire than to create something so iconic. I'm pretty sure the birth rate has gone up after introducing this fragrance, don't you think? Number six, best versatile fragrance. Most of the videos on YouTube use this word, but many people don't know its meaning, especially in perfumery. A versatile fragrance means that there is no one or specific occasion to wear a scent. For example, this perfume can be worn in two seasons, winter time and summer time, or it can be worn in all four seasons, fall, winter, spring, summer. Other fragrances can be worn as a daytime casual wear or a nighttime as a date night fragrance or even for... My mom is here, I can't use bad words. You know I'm polite. 
The great thing about Bleu de Chanel is that its versatility is in many categories. This scent can be worn as a casual wear. It is great for meetings, office wear, sunset drinks, afternoon coffee dates, date nights, weddings, and even for visiting your relatives during holidays. The only and literally the only occasion that is not best to use Bleu de Chanel is while clubbing. I personally think that sweet scents like Paco Rabanne 1 million or Ultra Mal by Jean-Paul Gaultier or the cliché Versace Eros are best for partying and clubbing. Number seven, Eau de Toilette is the freshest. As I said, there are three concentrations for this fragrance and Eau de Toilette is the freshest. All of them have that Chanel signature grapefruit in them, but this one hits you harder. It is fresh mainly for its top notes, which are grapefruit, lemon, mint, and ginger. Actually, do we have ginger in the kitchen? Yes. Okay, guys, I'm gonna try something and let's see if we can make some homemade Bleu de Chanel. Come on. I'm gonna pour the grapefruit juice, the famous signature scent note from Chanel. Then choose some lemon. I'm gonna cut a bit of ginger to get the ginger note, that spicy note. And of course, the fresh mint. We'll mix them well, well, well. Guys, it smells nothing like Bleu de Chanel. Let's go back. Number eight, Eau de Toilette is the most compliment getter of the three. The projection and performance are amazing. Projection, eight over 10. Longevity, nine over 10, which I think are the main factors why this fragrance is eligible to get so many compliments. Both men and women love to smell this fragrance. Now, the difference between the other two versions is that the Eau de Parfum, they added incense to it. it. It is a bit darker. And the Parfum concentration, for me, it's better for nighttime. It's that mysterious gentleman. Yes, guys, to simplify this in Arabic. Eau de Toilette Bijib Number nine, to elaborate more on this, Eau de Toilette is definitely one of my top five best date night fragrances for men. For date nights, you shouldn't wear something very offensive, especially that women don't like to be overwhelmed by your perfume. You need something that smells a bit clean, fresh, a bit addictive and sensual. This scent has that X factor and they will keep and keep on smelling. So it is perfect for that five-star dinner and that cheap hotel that you're going afterwards. Number 10, last but not least, Bleu de Chanel is a timeless fragrance. The notes of grapefruit and patchouli have been used for centuries now. It is not a trendy fragrance that fades away within the years, just like we've seen some mass appealing fragrances like Armani Code or Dior Sauvage. This perfume will never run out of style and it is still relevant to this day. For my final words, if you've been using Bleu de Chanel Eau de Toilette and want something with a slightly better performance, you can convert it to the Eau de Parfum. But note that a lot of people get the Eau de Parfum version, so you won't be totally unique. But if you are new with fragrances and want something fresh and professional, the Eau de Toilette is perfect for you. For more questions, you can ask me here in the comments or simply follow me on Instagram and Twitter for more perfume-related videos. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay safe. I love you.